What's up everybody, hope you had a good week. For this week, I'm gonna show you how you can customize the buttons on your source and program monitors. So let's get started here. Now, what I'm talking about down here are all these buttons down here, which you have both in your source monitor and in your program monitor. So the reason I wanted to show you this is because I personally work on a small laptop, it's 15 inch. I can't imagine working on a 13 inch. If anybody out there is working on a 13 inch laptop, let me know how the hell you do that because I, I don't get it. But I'm working on a 15 inch screen, I'm getting older, my eyes aren't that great. So I like to have my my interface stripped down to like minimalist, you know, only the things that I need makes it a little bit easier. So let me show you how you can customize these buttons here. So what you have, first we'll start with the source monitor, but it's kind of the same on both panels. So once I show you one, it applies directly to the other. So if you look over down here, there's a little plus button. This is called the button editor. If you punch this up, you're gonna see a little box come up that gives you an option. Basically, this allows you to completely customize this layout. So now if I look down here, there's all these important buttons, but I am an avid user of keyboard shortcuts and I know I have keyboard shortcuts for a whole bunch of these, like basically mark in, mark out, I don't need those. The play button, play stop toggle, it, it tells you right there in the parentheses, that's the space bar. So uh, I, am, I never hit that play button, so why have it there? So I'm gonna go ahead and customize this. So I'm basically gonna drag what I don't need out of here. This is a step back one frame, step forward one frame. I don't use those, it's like the arrow key for that. So I don't need that. Um, go to in, go to out. I'll keep those on there. And then we have space. Let's see. Don't need that. Don't need mark in, mark out. I don't need the marker button because that's a really easy shortcut, keyboard shortcut. I never use these insert and overwrite. I do, however, use this export frame because I, you know, I could just remember Shift E, but I haven't remembered that yet, and I've been working with Premiere for a long time, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that on there. Now what else do I want? I want the safe margins here because if I work in the broadcast realm, occasionally I want to see my title safe. And I also like this loop key. I use this a lot. And I don't even think there's a keyboard shortcut assigned to it because when you look at it, there's nothing in parentheses. I could go in my keyboard shortcuts and assign a keyboard shortcut to that, but I'd rather not. Okay, everything's looking pretty good. I think this is how I like it. Let's see, toggle proxies, closed caption display. So there's a, there's a bunch of different options here for within this button editor. Toggle VR video display, wow. I have not worked in the VR realm. If any of you have, leave a comment. Let me know what the hell that's like. Okay, and if you're not happy with it or if you wanna set it back, there's obviously a reset layout button. So I'm gonna click okay, and there we go. We have a pretty uh, streamlined look here. And now I only have five buttons as compared to whatever I had before. And I could quickly go over here to my program monitor and do the same thing. Don't need play, don't need step forward. You know, it's just really a waste of space. I mean, you start to really streamline um, your interface. It's kind of nice to work. Let's see. Actually, I wanted that. Oh well, we'll have loop and export frame and this. Okay, let's see here. Now, I don't know if that's a little flaw, but I don't know why it's on a line here. Okay, there we go. So if you see, there's two lines here. Click okay, yeah, that gave me a little bit of space there. Okay, so there you go, that's how you customize those two, um, and there's a, there's a ton of different ways you can kind of customize your interface, like little things like, if you go down here, minimize all tracks, you can, you can and I could turn off all these labels on here, but that's for another tutorial. But right now, you know, customize your source and program monitors to how you want them, and then you're ready to go, things are looking better. All right, see you next week.